Thank you so much for having us tonight. My name is Sarah Hartman. I'm the CEO of Secret Ships. This is my co-founder and Chief Creative Officer, Natalie Shaw. We created Secret Ships as a way to recreate the experience of shopping at the world's most exciting markets. We carry a curated collection of jewelry, clothing, and home goods from top shopping destinations like Istanbul and Chiang Mai. We sell online at secretships.com, and we also sell at local Boston markets with our caravan. Um, our mobile shopping boutique was funded on Kickstarter, and it is built in the style of an old world bardo. So, can't forget this. I'm willing to bet that there are a lot of people here tonight who have never actually seen this thing out and around on the streets of Boston. And that is why we're here tonight to ask for your help. Not just help for us, but help for all of the businesses in Boston's small and fledgling mobile retail industry. Right now, all of us are stuck in a legal limbo with the city of Boston that's threatening to end mobile retail in Massachusetts. First, for those of you who aren't familiar with the concept, Mobile retail businesses are typically boutiques that are built into the back of customized trailers or trucks. Why is this great? So mobile retail provides the perfect incubator to support creativity and innovation in the retail space. Because of the lower costs associated with starting and operating one of these businesses, it's more accessible for entrepreneurs with a great idea to test, incubate, and grow the idea before they launch it in a broader context. And mobile retail provides amazing opportunities for women to become entrepreneurs. Of the more than 300 mobile retail businesses in the country today, 95% of them are owned or co-owned by a woman. So while we're talking about national numbers, this is how Boston fits into the equation. Even though a few years ago, we were home to some of the earliest adopters of this type of business, we're very quickly falling behind other major cities and some of the smaller cities too. There's a very good reason for this. The city's been dragging its feet on creating a permitting system that actually authorizes us to do the type of business that we're doing. So while cities like Los Angeles are issuing permits and the state of California is moving to make this business legal, uh, East Coast, where loop trucks are literally moving across the country to set up shop over there. Um, Boston already, we've lost some of our pioneers to the West Coast, and others have just closed up shop altogether. So why should this matter to you? It's a good question. Take a minute to think about the types of businesses you see when you walk around our major uh, shopping areas in Boston. Let's take Newbury Street, for example. It's you know, a local icon, a place that we want to think of as being quintessentially Bostonian. But in fact, only 24% of the businesses on Newbury Street are locally owned. Mobile retail contributes to a culture of local ownership by providing an avenue for local entrepreneurs to start and grow their business concepts. And while global and national brands like Forever 21, Urban Outfitters, and H&M are increasing their footprints on our city streets, mobile retail is a way to offset the homogenization of our urban shopping areas and maintain a culture that's vibrant, unique, and local. And finally, if there was another argument to be made, consider the impact that Boston's food trucks program has, happened, has had on local, local vibrancy. I'm sure everyone in this room at some point has had a great meal and enjoyed the benefit of being able to shop, to purchase their food from a truck parked on a city street. Now just take a minute to imagine what Boston might look like if we had a comparable <coughs> program for uh, re mobile retail businesses to set up shop. But at the moment, we don't have that program. It's something that the city's been talking about doing for a couple of years. And in fact, under the Menino administration, the BRA was working on a permitting process for local retailers. Unfortunately, we all know we've got a new mayor in town, and the BRA has essentially dropped the project. Now, we think that the Walsh administration has really made making Boston a more vibrant, dynamic, and exciting city. Um, and they're doing a great job with it. But right now, we're not a priority for them. So we're asking for the help of everyone in this room tonight to make us a priority. We would like everyone here to tweet the Boston Redevelopment Authority, telling them that mobile retail has a place in Boston and it has an important place. Their Twitter handle, right here, at Boston Redevelop. 
Feel free to come up with your own copy. We've got plenty of ideas. But make sure that you use the hashtag, we want retail trucks. Let's see if we can get this trending today. Thank you. Retail trucks. 